morning traders and traders y'all know it's drill costing back to you with another banger all right fresh charts just gonna look at it fresh one thing i want to start off with though for those who are talking about you oh you don't trade any other pair or this and that or you know what i mean why only one pair and you know one pair that they kind of zone in and and just look at the market you know what i mean much more easily um it lowers your risk because you're only trading one pair so um your entire trades less and all of that right but i also want to show you this from the 21st of november to just the 23rd of november right so from tuesday to friday gj easily run 330 pips. you follow me so really and surely you know you have everything you need in life in one pair the problem is with a lot of people is that they lack patience they lack discipline yeah so if you just really have the patience and discipline um you can you can maximize a lot from just out of one pair all right so i want to continue to, to work on my skill sets you know i mean i want to catch these nice moves going all the way up here so i saw this remember i called out this i saw this but for some reason um i failed to capitalize on it you know what i mean i've got a lot of, a lot of promise to deal right now but one thing you should always know that is the market will always provide opportunities right but just look at this let's look at this trend let's look at this i'll tell you now guys <laughs> like clockwork let's look at it all right like clockwork bam back to trend back to trend <laughs> back to trend you get what i'm saying it's just like clockwork yeah all right, but before i go up there i want to take things from the h4 level first yeah so we can at least look what the overall market is doing, right all right so we had a major level here all right so the major level here all right so this was a nice stage four level we had a major level there all right so remember we had pushed up come back and i said to you that this was a double bottom right here so this was a double bottom type of action and with a lot of exhaustion and then gj push up on it so if we're not option and this was a high then i'm expecting gj to make a higher high come back a higher low and continue up some form of action like that right so we broke through right here broke that high right so expecting some form of a little pull back on the 30 and to continue up to create that higher high right come back and create that higher all right so now that we know where we are on the on the age four level let me get another line here all right i remember support and resistance is not a line or anything it's an era all right so now we know that what we're looking at we should have zone that we could look at potentially all right potentially we can look here so these are the areas that we're looking at all right so we're not option all right that's not technical we're not option we're not option all right get our trend line all right get our trend line right. simple what we want what we want right now is to allow price to come back to trend so one out of two things can take place right because remember this level right here where we have the roof roof right here price can maintain on this level right here and and just push out so what you can do you can do some form of consolidation back to here around to here yeah and uh, around three land and then just move off right so be mindful of that all right so be mindful of that all right so simple 
want to allow price to come back to trend all right so we're around this region right here and then look to let's do that again allow price to come back to trend all right around this um which will become demand zone now and look to move up right so when price come back to this area around 188141 right what you want to do is allow support to form right bearish triangle closure we call the bottom bullish triangle closure we call the bottom and you look to continue up right so the area that we're looking at is one one eighty eight one four one between one eighty eight two eight three and one eighty eight one four one. Why do I do this again? Remember that support and resistance is not a line; it's a zone, right? So that is why you realize these weeks right here, right? Notice all these weeks right here; they are within a zone, right? They are within a zone, all right? You have to be mindful of that, all right? So. So that's the first option, right? Second option that we're looking at is, is, is the break of this overall structure because GJ can simply like cap out here, right? So though the potential looking for it to continue up, GJ can cap out here. So GJ can start with something like this. I'm gonna go back to the age board, right? So GJ can potentially do something like this where it's moving in this type of region, right? Between the supply and demand before it actually continue up, or move something like this in the supply and demand here before it continue down, right? Um, a good example of that is here. See, but move between a supply, a supply and and demand era, right? So it, though this might look small, this might look small on the eight four level, but this is a lot of move on the lower time frame. Remember that we picked up a lot of pips here, right? So look at this right here. From here to here, that's like a 260 pips region, right? So you can simply play price up 100 pips, come back down 100 pips, and so on and so on, right? So let's look right here again, right? See that? So GJ can seem to create some form of action like this before it looks to break out and continue. Remember that we're coming to the end of the year. All right, so we have to be mindful of that if it if it's gonna do some form of action like that, right? So this era alone, this era alone, which was uh, roughly three hundred and fifty feet fluctuation, right? So GJ can do some form of capping up. So GJ can cap out within this era before it continue down, or potentially it can continue up and if you continue up and looking to go to the one where is it 191500 that 191500 why that 191500 my man yeah must have a reason let me check that back 191500 i've always had that target in mind that overall target All right, just taking our time today, guys. Let me see if I pick that up after one month. Yeah, so I pick that up after one month. That one ninety one five hundred targets, right? Where would be respecting this floor right here before it turn over. This roof right here before it turn over. All right. So you see, I kind of know these areas because I'm, I'm consistently just looking at one here, right? So potentially. DJ can go to that. All right. All right. Let's get rid of this. 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 That. Rid of that. That. That's me, not the chart. All right. So that's the play that we're looking at. So that's the first play. Secondly, you know that we can potentially have a break of this overall structure. If it's going to stay within structure, right? So if it's going to stay within this zone right here, in this 350 pip zone, then you know potentially now what we can look at now is a break here, all right? 
box is here if you see some form of um top rejections if we look to continue down there yeah so gj can come here create support create a low break retest right create a low high confirming this is a training point down so we're continuing down so if it does some form of option like this remember now you want bullish candle closure we cut the top bearish candle closure we cut the top then you look to confirm for the sell right it can also potentially right potentially make some form of movement like this right it can also potentially make some form of movement instead of that movement it can potentially make a break to here shift retest lower high same form of top rejection then you look to continue down in this free space right here yeah so you just have to be mindful of what it's doing from free london london open so follow me now if gg is looking to go continue up like this right you want to take short and move somewhere around in the 55th, 65th, 85th region, near about, right? But if there's a break of structure, right? So continue back down in this free space right here, then you can look for a longer move, 150, 200, 250 type of move, right? right? So, all right. So that's what we're looking at for GJ. Um, hope you all get the coordinates and so on. All right. Hope you all get the coordinates of what we're looking at. All right. So all you want to do is just to get up a free London, London open and just see what the yes, market structure is looking like. So once it's played out to one of these things, then it just go with that confirmation, right? But always wait on market structure, always trade it in time of volume, right? So you know it's Sunday, so we we'll have to check our calendar. So let's go to our calendar. And This week, where are we at? It's supposed to be at the 26th. Alright, click next week. Alright, great. So, picking up at the 27th, we have no news around three London, London open. We have news around three New York. That's okay. No strong news around three London, London open on Tuesday as well. All right, let's go on to the past Wednesday. No news whatsoever. Again, no strong major news around Wednesday, free London, London open. Thursday, what we have for Thursday, no form of major news or anything like that. On Friday, same. All right, so we're looking to trade every day of the week, right? So we're looking to trade every day of the week. So it's just a good buy. So this is the market what we're looking at. Um, fresh eyes. Sometimes, whenever you're trading, guys, it's always good to like at the start of the week and so on, just to clear off a chart by just right clicking here, press remove joins, right? Remove joins, you clear off everything like that. Yeah. And just mark up the chart fresh. And remember, speaking about marking up charts, if you have any other chart that you'd like for me to analyze here on the on the daily daily markups and so on, right? just mark up a chart go here copy link paste it in the comment section and i'll try my very best to assist you until tomorrow straight balling no solid i'm out <laughs>